quite possibly, well, arguably, one of the most successful teams ever. James Holder goes off the inside, Jack Holder off the inside, I should say. Gate number two is Stevie Worrell for Bellevue. Gate three is Brady Kurtz for the Pirates, the new number one here at Bellevue. And Kenneth Pierre, who was the wild card in the Danish Grand Prix at the weekend, just missed out on a place in the semi-finals. Uh, Kenneth Pierre is the man off the outside. Mark Lemon, the uh, Bellevue team manager, also the Australian team manager. He'll be taking charge of the Australians this weekend at Kings Lynn in the Monster Energy FIM Speedway World Cup. Heat number one, here we go then. Four Pirates and Bellevue Aces. And it's into that first turn. It's a great start for the man. Struggling to land the blow right now, comes through to third, but Pierre continuing his sizzling form so far this season. But as things stand, it's a share of the spoils here in Heat 1. Yeah, terrific start from Pierre from the outside, never easy from there, and Warrell was there with him alongside him, but got beaten up on the first lap, and the Pirates got the better of him, hold it back in second place, Brady Kurtz, the new number one in third. Yeah, as you rightly say, Nigel, it has been in sparkling form, the revamped, the revitalised Pierre out in front, controlling heat one. Yeah, looking very stylish, Kevin Pierre, didn't ride his way last year, uh, but was linked to the move to four here during the winter until Bellevue made their move. And Kenneth Pierre, the Danish international, in the World Cup squad for the Danes as well, selected by Hans Nielsen. And he'll be in Vastavik next Tuesday night in Sweden, but leading the aces there.